Hi guys, you're back with Just M on Minecraft 1.17 Survival Island. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm getting sick and tired. And that's just it guys, I'm getting tired. I can't kill enough spiders. I think I've got 10 pieces of string, I know we only need two more spiders. But, I thought it'd be better. If I make a mod farm, then at least we get all the other drops as well, and we get XP. So, let's get straight into it, shall we? Now, my starter point is going to be here. Out on this platform, away from my start-up of a castle, if you like. Right, anyway, we want chest and a chest it's going to be off centre but there's not a lot I can do about that I'm going to put these here obviously in the wrong place and I actually I'm going to move that chest back I think we'll put it there right so what we want to do which I had right in the first place. Just put your chest on. Get your blocks. Like so. Stick a couple of hoppers into the back of your chest. Now, I'm going to go up in this. And you want to go up about, I'd say about 21. I think 23 is like your killing distance. From here upwards right i'll just tell you what you're going to need guys i should have done this initially you're going to need glass you're going to need trapdoors you're going to need water that is decorational only any kind of block you want you're going to need at least two hoppers depending on how big you want your drop chamber and that's about it really you don't need any redstone whatsoever you just need two hoppers okay i'm going to take my glass I'm going to put my glass across the front. I did want that dark glass, but my uh, spawn doesn't seem to want to give me a geode, so that's not going to happen anytime soon. I might change it afterwards, I might not. Right, so we've got one, two, three, four. Take that out of the way, shall I? Five. And I'm doing it again. Told you I've misplaced blocks with them. Six. Seven. Eight. Counting with them as well. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And what I like to do when I get up to about eighteen, so we're only eleven now. 12. When I get up to about 18, I like to just do the top in the darker blocks to keep the light in. It makes it more viable. Is that 14? Fifteen. 16, 17, so I'll do the 18, and then all blocks, 19, 
one set and 21. Now, I think the kill distance is either 23 or 24. 18, 19, 20. 21, that's right. Yeah, I think the kill distance is about 23 or 24 blocks drop. And I would like to get them for their XP as well, so I don't really want them to die. That looks pretty pretty hot from here. Doesn't it, guys? That's going to be a big castle, you know. Mm. I'm sure I can do it. As bad a builder as I might be. Right, you want to come out back out here at eight blocks. So, including this one. Right, we're going to come back and another seven. So, it's eight in total. So, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we want the back wall, which is going to be there. Okay. Right, so you've got that. I'm going to pull this out to meet up with this one. And then we're going to pull this one out at the front end. Simple, you don't need redstone, so where's your dropping chamber? You need to come up another one. Like so. Now you can do as many levels on this as you like. And you can probably do it lower if you like, as long as everything's lit up underneath. You've got to make sure you light your caves up, guys. Because if you don't, you're in for a world of hurt, because this mob farm will not work properly. Because the mobs would rather spawn down under there in your caves than spawn up here and then get dropped to the doom. One, two, three, four, come back five and add your wall. As I said, you don't really need them ones. Save yourself some blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to run this all along three, four, five total. And then get another wall built up like that. So it's an additional four, which makes five in total. So you've got that one and then one, two, three, four, and then your back wall. Now, if you want Endermen to spawn, and they can do, and they'll spawn easier if you're over water, because they've got nowhere to teleport to, then you can do it this wall three high, okay, and then put the roof on. If not, just do it too high, guys. Just make sure you've got enough room for all your mobs to spawn. Dink, dink, dink. This is like the easiest but most effective mob farm I've used. And I don't really like using redstone. Right, what am I actually doing with myself? I have no idea, but we're going to get rid of this. to get that there like that right so we have your little box do the same again on the other side i'll be back when i'm done right guys we're back now we have our wall up two three blocks one two three and this one looks like i'm going to do a ceiling but this design is actually quite tileable so I'm, I'm going to do another level on top of this. And you want to do it. It is so easy. But I wouldn't go any more than three levels. So do it like you're doing the ceiling. Like you're doing the roof. And stop there. You see? 
You want to stop. Here. Where the little uh, canal is on the bottom level. And you basically do the same again. You build your walls up. So whatever you want, either two or three, depending on whether you want endermen. And then once you're done, you stick a ceiling, a roof on it. Now I can get this done properly in a little minute. But I'm going to show you the step after doing your walls. I'm not sure how many blocks I've got left either. So I'll have to check on that. So let me just get this base wall in. I should have done this before I started doing the other levels because I'm going to take a hefty fall here. Let me try and get myself down without injuring myself. Don't do that, guys. <laughs> oh, my Jiminy A. Had to be done, didn't it? But at least the hoppers have caught me stuff. Do you know what? I have my XP up to a nice little level there as well. Right. Oh, it's all collecting. Well, we've got that at least. Let me get myself sorted out, guys. I'll come straight back. Now, just in case you were wondering, that was done for the content. Okay, that was not accidental. That was done on purpose for the content. Okay, guys? <laughs> oh, will you just don't... Right, just, just fall there. Right, so... What you want to do on these out, outer edges here. Don't need that. Get your trapdoors. Don't fall down that hole. Should be using the axe really. Right, trapdoors on. Right. Close them all up. Believe it or not, I have been playing Minecraft for a fair few years. <laughs> now you probably don't believe it. <laughs> I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. Right, anyway. Let me up. And then from up here. Don't do it from down there, guys. Because you'll end up washing yourself down the chute. One water bucket. Two water bucket, and that'll set you a nice little water stream, sending your mobs down to doom. And you pretty much what I do the same again up on every level that you do. So your mobs are not going to die. But, they will land in the water and get carted off with your others. Okay. Like that. And then we can pick this wall up. Another two layers. Already up one. So you get it up a grand total of either two or three, depending on what you've opted. I don't have slabs, so I'm going to have to make my way back for slabs. That wooden column is supposed to be there, even though it did help me get back up. I should have enough to get all the way around. And then, you're basically ready to stick your lid on. I 
I'm going to do this. Even though I'm putting slabs on it. Because I'm going to do my slabs at like the bottom, the second half there. So you can't see the slabs from the outer side. And if you're going to do that, it obviously means you're going to have to put some form of lighting up here. Because you do not want the mobs spawning anywhere apart from inside the mob farm. Right, so we have that. I am going to get myself down on the right side this time. Pull that out. I'm going to take myself out. Is it this way? No, it's that way. This way? No, I'm not. Because that is certain doom. I'm going to take myself out the back way. And I'm going to go and get myself some slabs. So. Once. You have your roof on. You can see it's still dark here. But once you've got your roof on guys. What you want to do is that is how I generally do it make sure you have no torches but you need to be very careful guys because you will get mobs spawning in here when you turn make it dark Alright, so if I can get back up here, take these out, use the trapdoors where you can. So you've got up there, get down. Get rid of these. Let me see which way I'm jumping out first. It's going to be that way. So. I'm going to get them there. They can stay there for the time being. Take all your torches out. Make sure it's dark. You're only getting that light because I've got a torch in my hand. If I didn't have a torch in my hand, it wouldn't be light. So I'm going to come out. I'm going to put these blocks back. I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm not going to fall to my death, am I? Get rid of that one. And I'm going to head up back onto my platform. Oh, the sun's coming out. Now, you want a couple of slabs here. You can put carpet there if you so wish. But now, I'm hoping we're going to get a little bit of action. So basically, now it's just a waiting game. I'm going to put a couple of them there as well. Yeah, why not? So, now it's just a waiting game. Give it a couple of minutes and you should get your mobs spawning. If I give it a couple of minutes, I'll just take a swim. There we go, guys. Oh, he's fell. He's... Oh, he's not. He's still alive. See, the creepers can't see you. Even if you do that. Even if you do that. Peekaboo. And there you go. There is your mob farm. Just stand here for another couple of minutes and you'll see them all coming down. Let them mount up. Give them a bish bash bosh. 
See, a lot better. I can't put that there because I won't be able to hit them, you see. So, carpet will be better. I don't think I've got any trapdoors on me. No, I've put them away. But that's it, guys. You're going to get all your mob drops. You're going to get your string. And the basically just a one hit. I can pretty that up at a later time. But it's definitely screenshot time, isn't it? You know this. Or oh, should we do a screenshot this away? So you can do it that away. But that doesn't look anywhere near as good. Right, so yeah. So hang about for a bit. Five minutes AFK. Let them build up. See, I've got my taters now. So I can start planting taters. Have a bit of a wander. Build your platform out. Do what you need to do. And they'll just start spawning thick and fast. If you, get, if you can get three platforms up there, more mobs will spawn. So it's up to you how you do it. And it's basically just one hit wonders. Even ye old Bob who wants to jump over my sword. See? And there you go. XP mob farm. I'd like to get some spiders as well, mind, but that's the way it goes sometimes. They'll come at some point. <laughs> you know what to do if you've enjoyed it, guys. Slap that like button. And if you'd like to see a little bit more of just M, hit subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification button. Bell. What is why is that bear in the water behind me? Hmm. As always, thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bloody bear. <laughs>